but this workshop is all about video compression so um, what you can use to compress the videos basically get the file size down so your videos are smaller in size and there's a free program on the internet called handbrake okay and this allows you this is an open source video transcoder and you can actually reduce the the actual file size of the video down using this free software so you need to go to handbrake.fr and you need to download the latest version of handbrake and what we're going to do is we're going to take a video and i'm going to show you the file size of that video we're going to take it to handbrake and we're going to reprocess it using handbrake and it will reduce the size of our video down with as little quality um, degradation as possible so handbrake's really good for this um, a lot of you need to reduce your video sizes down so I will say that if you're you the original um, files that you're producing the software that you're using you should be able to to set that up so that you reduce so that you actually get the file sizes small to start with but if you guys are having problems with this then you might want to use handbrake to do that so download handbrake and then we're going to jump into it and I'm going to show you how you can reduce your video size now just before we jump into it I would say have a look around the handbrakes website because um, if you go on the features you're going to see lots of things that you can actually do in handbrake so as well as reducing the file size down there's lots of other settings and things in here that you might want to look at or just follow along with me okay so when you open handbrake up the first thing you're going to see is this screen here okay and this just tells you to drop the file um, or folder into this area for you to basically set the project up really easy so what is good about the handbrake is that we could also batch process so if you've got a folder and you've got lots of videos in there you can batch process them all at the same time we're going to use the single video file option for this and all we need to do is drag it onto here okay so I have a video here we go over this video and we mouse over it you're gonna see that the size is 190 megabytes now this video size is about 23 seconds long uh, 23 minutes long so fairly big video so I've got 190 so let's see how much of a reduction we can get by using handbrake so really easy we can just drag this in here and just let go and it will start to process the video through okay so here it is here okay guys so over here you're going to see that there are some presets now let's put it to fast 1080 and that should be fine I just leave the presets now you can choose other presets from in here as well um, this will reduce the size down um, depending on what you go for but I'd leave it on what it's default fast 1080 and we're going to choose make sure it's mp4 format and align AV to start leave that default and then we're going to click web optimized as well okay just web optimized that's all we need to do so what we need to do now is just process this so we can just start the encode and the destination of the file that's saved out is going to be down there so I'm going to change that and just put it onto my desktop like so I'm going to click save okay now I'm going to start the encoding so my saved copy will be here okay on my desktop let's start the encoding so you can see down here that it gives you a time as it's going through the encoding process now you must also remember there are a lot of different settings that you can use with handbrake um, I'm just showing you this quick demo to show you how the default settings will automatically reduce the file size down but you can tailor it even more um, if you start changing some of these uh, settings in here or even the presets and also remember that you could save a new preset if you change and modify these you can also save a new preset and then you can reuse that prefet, preset it will appear in here you can just select it and you can reuse that so if you do set it up to exactly how you want remember to save the new preset and then you can select it in here when you next jump into handbrake 
Now it's also worth mentioning that if you're using uh, maybe you're changing your frame rate and you've got it set on like 50 frames per second just make sure under the video um, tab here that you change that frame rate inside here okay you can also change the video codec types as well in here but the default generally works fine um, dimensions just make sure they're the same as what you've already got um, like I said this um, preset should be okay for you if you don't want to get into too much of um, processing inside of Handbrake okay so this is nearly finished uh, doing this pass now what we're going to do next is we're actually going to look how we can make it even better so we can get it even better optimized and we're also going to save a preset as well so we're going to look at the file size of this one and uh, just look at the quality compared to the original and then we're going to go ahead and do another version and I'm going to tell you what to look out for okay guys it's finished so here's our new version here let's have a look at the file size of this you're going to see that the file size of this is 19.7 megabytes as compared to 190 so a massive saving let's have a look at the video welcome to this test video so we're testing how much compression you can actually compress. Let's have a look at the original now. Welcome to this test video. So we're testing how much. So you can see that we have got a really good version and we've cut it down um, by about 80% just using this on the default settings. Now, if we look at the original one now, and I'm just gonna go into the details by right hand clicking and going down to property there's a few things we can do to make it even better if we go to details down here you're going to see that our frame rate was actually 25 frames a second when we recorded this video we need to make sure that that's the same inside here so I'm going to be setting that inside there you're also going to notice this says M4V and this is MP4 so we're going to do a few little changes now I'm going to leave the video in there and we're going to jump across to uh, the video settings here now this slider here will increase or decrease the quality. So if be careful though, don't take it down too much. Um, this is about right where it is at the moment. I'm gonna change this video codec to MP4 here. And I'm gonna leave these settings on what they are. This is about quality, constant quality 22. Now the frame rate, I'm gonna change this to 25, okay? I'm going to leave peak frame rate and all that stuff so I don't need to change much now this will determine the size of the video this little slider okay lower quality higher quality so if I come to about here about 19 should be good and that looks good so in under audio we could um, take the bitrate of the audio down, but I'm gonna leave it the same. And actually 96 is, I think 96 is CD quality. So I could drop that down to 96. So I've changed this to MP4. I've put the quality of that at 19 in here. I've set the frame rate, to, frame rate to the correct frame rate. And I've gone into audio and just changed that to 96. Now guys, it already compressed it a lot. So you might not want to do this. Um, I'm just fine tuning things here. Also check the dimensions are the dimensions you recorded at, which was HD 1920 by 1080. And once you've done that, you can flick back to here and we can have a look, leave this the same. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save as a new preset. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna name it. Custom Processing and then I put one or I put medium for medium high so I'm going to leave this the same and I'm going to click add so this has now been added as a custom preset here notice it changes and if you flick to these you're going to see your settings are kept in there so you can save that preset so let's now go ahead and encode this one so I'm going to change the name of this just so it's different. So I'm going to call this custom. Okay, like that. And I'm going to click 
starting code. Hi guys, so this one has now compressed and if we look at the file size of this new one <coughs> with our custom settings, you're going to see it's 133 megabytes. So the quality is better, but the file size not reduced as much as that one. So let's go extreme now and I'll show you, we don't need to change much in this custom processing, we're just going to change the quality and you're going to see this will reduce dramatically. I'll just play it now. Welcome to this test video. So we're test. So I think so far the actual compression of this one was better. But I want to go extreme with this just to show you. So I'm going to go into video and we're going to take this, this quality right down. And I'm also going to change the codec back to what it was before. Okay. So let me just take this quality down here. So I want to show you the extremes. So this is really low quality, okay? So it's gonna be really blurred, but it's gonna be a really fast, um, really small file size. So I've just changed that video, changed it to the codec, that's H.264, okay, this one here. Let's now encode this. Also, something to look for, uh, look for on that custom one we set up is the background. You can see if you go sort of um, changing the video codec type to MP4, you're gonna get this kind of banding happening if you're not high enough quality. And look at the lettering. Um, so it's all gonna kind of pixelate. Now the new version I'm sending out with the really low settings is really gonna show badly on here. Let's have a look at that other one that we did here. This one that we reduced down to 19.7 megabytes the first one we did with the default settings welcome to this test video and you can see this is all nice you can still see a little bit of banding here don't know if you can see that as compared to the original one that we have here which welcome is to much this sharper test video but there's not a lot of difference between this one that's 190 and this one that's 19.7 so we know something was wrong with this because it's a bigger file size and it's given us less quality across here. Welcome to and like I said, it's all about the video codec type, this H264. You might be thinking, oh, I should go to MP4, but this will produce the MP4 file, but it will just be using this codec. Okay, that's all you need to remember. And like I said, that original one that I did with just the default settings was good enough. Now also realize when I changed the quality settings down that our custom processing medium says modified so we've modified it so we would need to save it here to overwrite it so this is a good way to play around with these settings and then just when you're happy with the processed video remember you've only got to do this once and um, once you see that it all works and looks lovely you can then save that and, and use that custom one all the time or feel free to use the one that we had um, originally which was the fast here okay and then you could just change the frame rate to 25 to match your video. Now I'm showing you all these things and I'm doing all these tests because these are sort of things that you'll need to do and I don't want to just go in there and just show you oh just use the default settings because you do the default settings and you really don't know what's going on in Handbrake itself. So by doing this video and showing you by taking the quality right down lower then you're going to see a a smaller file size but the quality is going to be reduced and by upping it you're going to get a higher file size but the quality will be better so it's reaching that middle ground uh, and that's um, you need to find out what's going to work for you generally I find the quality settings with the H.264 and with it being roughly in the middle is probably the best setting but as you mouse over these it actually gives you a bit of information so you definitely want to read that information as you're uh, looking at it okay so it's a full video this I'm showing you this is saving you processing the video yourself which takes quite a long time so I've done like three this will be the third video and I'm going to do one more um, and it all takes a bit of time to do so this video is taking I think it's going to take about 12 minutes so between all of the videos it's like 30 minutes but remember you've only got to do it once 
and once you've got that setting saved you can bring your videos in choose that preset that you set up or use the default one that we were already on which was that one and you can just process them all at the same time okay guys let's have a look at this one now so this is the one with the low setting that we set and you're going to see the video size is 5.47 now remember we're coming from 190 megabytes so but look at the quality welcome to this test video so we're testing how much compression you can actually so the sounds really good because we didn't change any of the settings in the sound but the actual quality is absolutely horrendous if I'd have changed this as well it would have been the sound would have been bad as well so if we mouse over this it's telling you something about this it's also saying like suggested values for 18 to 20 are 18 to 20 for standard definition sources and for high definition sources 20 to 23 so let's just set this at about 22.5 or 22 and now I'm going to run another video out with these settings remember this is custom now I know this is going to work so I'm just going to click save new preset and I'm going to call this custom processing setting final and I'm going to click add okay so now under my custom presets I can go to the final one and let's now process this I'm also going to change the name to final and click start process okay final one is complete so if we look at the file size of this one it is 19.7 I'm going to just open it up now and we well, have a really good quality video. now with, so we're testing um, how much band in and you sounds can. good so that works now if we look at this this is for 19.7 and if we look at that first one we did the original one it's also 19.7 so we've actually pretty much the same settings as we had for that first one that we used now I want to just run through a little bit of housekeeping so once you have these settings as you have here let me just run through these so you can see we have this so I'm going to actually go and delete these out because you can delete these custom presets out so let's go and do that and we're going to basically build this same one based on the first one that we used so I'm going to go into the preset, go to preset, and this I'm only doing this so that you guys um, can um, just sort of understand the system. So I'm going a little bit overboard. I could have just said, right, okay, that's the first one. Just leave it on the um, default presets output, and then it's done. So that's what I could have done, but I just want to explain all these little bits as well so you can go and build them yourself so the first thing we're going to do is delete these presets out so I've selected this custom processing final which is the one we like and I'm actually just going to delete it out so I'm going to go delete preset and click yes and now I'm going to select that other one because I don't want this one either so I'm going to select that in there I'm going to go preset delete preset so I've actually deleted them all out now what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and make sure that we're on this original one that we loaded in and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to turn on Web Optimized. I'm going to go to Video. I'm going to make sure it's the same frame rate that I'm running at, which is 25. And I'm also going to leave everything else the same and even that quality the same. So everything's the same. I've just made a slight change to this for the frame rate. I'm going to leave the audio the same. So everything's basically default from this fast 10, 80 by 30. Now we've modified it, so it says modified. I'm going to actually save this as a preset now. So I'm going to go save as a new preset. I'm going to call it custom preset one. And I'm going to click add. Fabulous. So now if I come into here, I've got this custom preset one, which is perfect. Now, what if I made a slight change to this? How could I update this preset without creating a new one? If I change this and make the quality a little bit lower, you can see it says modified. Now, um, at the moment if I exited out came back in this change wouldn't update so if I wanted to update this in this current preset I could come up to preset and I could go update selected preset and it says are you sure you want to update the selected preset click yes 
and you'll notice that that modified has been removed. So that is how you do it. So now let's just jump into um, a Zendler page and just upload the video to the media library. So because I don't need this one anymore, I'm going to delete it out. Uh, we got the final 19.7 created from this preset. And then we have the original 190 megabytes. So massive difference in size there. And I'm going to jump into our media library just to show you the speed. So let's click upload, select the file, go to this one, which is remember is 19.7. And I'm going to click open. This is said 20 megabytes. I'm going to click upload. Watch this. Boom. And you can see how quick it is. So this is going to help in two ways. It's going to be faster to upload. It's also going to be faster for the viewer to view it. So less buffering in the video. Um, so these are major benefits. So it's only a 20 megabyte file, whereas the other one's 190. So it's already loaded in. So let's now upload the other file and just show you how slow the other one is. So we go to this original one, click open, because it's 190 megabytes, hit upload. And it's just going to take a lot more time, a lot more time to upload. So the benefits of uh, actually optimizing your video for output are huge. One for a user and one for you uploading videos. So also remember that inside of Handbrake, you have this ability to actually open um, multiple files and set queues for multiple files via your preset. So that's how we can use Handbrake. So I know I went quite thorough with that, showing you about how to set presets up, how to modify the presets, how to delete presets out, how to reset them up based on another setting. But these are all key things for you. So hopefully the video is not too long, but you have a full understanding of how Handbrake can help you reduce your file size of your videos down.